Hello everybody! I am rounding up the end of the work day here. I just fed the dogs. Um, I am about to just sit here and continue on working. Meh. Uh, but I'm thinking about turning on a show while I finish working for the rest of the day, which is probably only about 30 more minutes. <laughs> Um, but yeah, today is pretty lazy. It kind of seems a little bit muggy outside, or that it's going to be, which is no fun because I kind of wanted to go on a bike ride later, but after I finish working, try to do something active. But I don't know, I might just end up cleaning the house that's active. <laughs> so, yeah. And, well, well, now that I'm thinking about it and sitting down chatting with you, I kind of want to go to the grocery store and get a couple of things. I know I need to get some more coffee, which, by the way, I never used to drink coffee before. Um, I think it wasn't until Starbucks came out with a new drink. What was it? Oh. It's like the coconut mocha... It's like iced coffee with coconut milk and chocolate or something. I don't, I don't, I don't remember what it's called, but it's one of the new ones, so it's still up, I think, until they come back out with all the fall stuff. But I had that, and then I thought it was absolutely amazing, and then I was like, "Well, this seems easy enough to just make at home." And probably less sugar if I just did coffee and coconut milk and put some, make an iced an iced coffee with coconut milk, which is amazing if you don't know already. So I got a bunch of coconut milk from Costco, and then all you do is just have put your coffee in your cup, and then I put ice in there, and then I fill the rest of it up. So it's like this much coffee and then like this much coconut milk and I just use one of those mason jar um, glasses and put some ice in there after you put the coffee in and oh my goodness it's so delicious I've been having it pretty much every morning so good yeah because I'm not a very big coffee drinker I like to have when they have those scales of like the coffee colors that you have I like my coffee to be on the lighter scale, so, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a black coffee drinker. Um, this has been Coda's new favorite spot, in between the couch and Coda. Coda, what are you doing, honey? What are you doing? Oh, <laughs> in between the couch and the wall which i think is so funny i think it's it feels safe to her especially when she's hearing the thunder that's where she runs and that's where she feels extra safe because it's kind of squeezed between two things so she feels um like squished i know that they have those jacket things that you can get at PetSmart, which i think we should get and it basically just is super tight around her chest and her body and everything. And it's supposed to feel comforting to dogs when they're having anxiety. So, yeah, my dog has anxiety. Poor girl. Oh, and, and her hurt neck. She's just getting old. How old are you going to be now, Coda? Um, 11? She's going to be 11 in January. Oh, the old girl. She's so old. So yeah, I'm going to finish some of this work. Gary's over here. I've got my pajamas all day shirt on. <laughs> oh, Cause that's how I work, pajamas all day. So Gary and I are going to continue on with like 30 more minutes, 20 more minutes. Oop. Oh, light rain starting. Oh, and I just ordered a necklace. Sorry, Ryan. But it was the Anna Ciccone's, like, her Zodiac necklace, which I think is so beautiful. I got a rose gold one 
for mine, which is cancer. And, oh my goodness. I've, honestly, I've been wanting it since she came out with it. But I was, like, waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And just, like, I was telling myself if I still want it, like, in a few months, then I'll get it. And it'll be, like, a treat. So, I just treated myself. So, yeah. <sighs> Ready, set, finish work. Got my pop sugar box in the mail. This is probably one of my most exciting days of the month is getting pop sugar and they were super late this month. So yes, I'm gonna open this. Yay! Currently loving everything that's came in here so far. I got a cargo blush. Set you right there. So we've got cargo blush and it is this really pretty pink color. Focus. Look at that. Super light color. It's not too like bright, which I like. It is a bit powdery than I usually like. I like things to blend really well, but. So that's cute. It's a Cargo Cosmetics powder blush. Cute. And then we got this Christian Lacroix sticky note set. And it's like a little booklet and they're Four ombre sets. Look how cute that is. That's adorable, huh? Yeah. Gary is like currently like, what is in there for me? <laughs> he is so concerned. Okay, what else is in here? This triple C universal charger. Charge any device with its own cord. Keep it in your makeup bag. LED indicator. So. Ooh, I think it's just a power bank and so you just use okay so it's just this thing and you charge with the USB pretty neat awesome this is good kind of looks like makeup so that's cute to have in your bag and then um, oh look how cute this is so I saw this and I was like what is that at first and it kind of took me a second but it's stick on screen cleaners and basically what you do with these things is you can stick it on the back of your phone and then you can take it off and then you can clean your screen with it pretty pretty useful gift i think Just take all the smudges and the fingerprints off that kind of sort of thing Look at this yumminess. Gary is definitely interested in this one. He's like, what is in that, Mom? What is it? I got him a bark box one time. <laughs> Not one time. I he had it for a few months, but after a while we just it's so many treats. We weren't going through them fast enough. So <laughs> we stopped using them so he thinks everything that comes in the box is for him. It's not for you, Gary. It's not for you. <laughs> I know, honey. We need to get you another one. <laughs> Inspector Gary over here, huh? <laughs> oh, jeez. So look at that. I wonder how these taste. Cookie pop popcorn. Cookies and cream. Only 150 calories. Hmm, taste test later with Ryan. And then, let's see, this is the last thing. Ooh, look how exciting. It's like in a... Uh, let's open it, Gary. <laughs> no, it's not for you. It's not for you. Oh, how fun. Oh, I like the color. Nice. It's very simple, too, and just fun. It's like a little bag, right? Oh, I love it. Look at this guy. Just get, just get right in the box here. Just get in the box. <laughs> oh, jeez.
one eye. You're getting all the way in. Oh, God, Gary. Oh, he says, nope. I'm changing my mind. I just want your popcorn, Mom. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> and you can't have it. He wants it so bad. He says, Mom, please. Oh. Ryan, I think we need to get him a bark box again. <laughs> oh, he's so... Carrie, there's... You can't... You can't have it, honey. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey. This... It's a plastic bag. You can't have it. <laughs> no. This is... Everything that came in it. Oh, I really like the pattern. I'd like this brown wrap much better than if I would have got that. So I'm glad I got this. And now I'm going to get to these two who are very concerned with everything that came in the Pop Sugar Box. And why was there nothing for Gary in there? Hmm? Why was there nothing, Gary? Oh. Poor guy. I know. <laughs> Oh, Gary has just unboxed his first Pop Sugar box. <laughs> how bummed he is. Oh, honey. I know. There was nothing in there for you. Oh, poor guy. We are watching some Harry Potter. And continuing with work. Just looking at these. This is This bag is so... Freaking cute! I actually really freaking love this. It's very plain, but it's big enough to fit my laptop, I think. Yeah, definitely. So I see me using this to take to Denver and stuff like that, and I think it would be really fun to put things like pins on the corner right here or something, just to jazz it up a bit. Yeah, now back to Harry Potter! So I was just testing out the um, little sticky, these are the unplugged little, what are, what are they called? Dusty stick-on screen cleaners. And they actually work pretty decently. I wouldn't say they're the best cleaners, but if you're just trying to get like smudges off, and the sticky part on the back is super sticky. So yeah, I think it works pretty well. What do you think? I mean, it's still, I wouldn't say it does a perfect job, you know. I think mainly if you're just looking for the main smudges to go away, I mean, it, it does it does a decent job. You can still see I've got some, some smudginess still on there, but it's, it's a little bit cleaner. The stickiness is actually really, really nice. Um... So yeah, I'm gonna, when Ryan gets home, he can pick one and see if he wants one. I, I don't know that he would want to put one of these on his phone, but the stick is really, really good. And apparently all you have to do is just rinse these off in water, and that's how you get it to um, clean off. And also helps the stickiness come back as you let it rinse off in water and then adhere, or um, let it air dry. So, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Gary, what do you think? He says, I don't know, Mom. There was nothing in that box for me. So, yeah. Oh, and I forgot to mention, this color, the Big Easy. So, this is the Big Easy. And it's Cargo Cosmetics. It's a blush. So, and I like the color. It's very simple. It's not... It's kind of a peachy one, which I think goes really well with my skin tone, so I'm glad I got that one. Um, so yeah, very nice, very pretty. Look what Ryan brought home for me. Who remembers having Snapple back in the day? Like, this feels so 90s right here. Oh, yes. Yum. Right now I am making, um, I'm gonna make some tor- um, not tortillas, quesadillas with some of this pork from yesterday that Ryan smoked in our um, smoker for like six hours, something like that. So yeah, I'm gonna make some homemade salsa, some 
guacamole and then some quesadillas. Yum! In my tortilla trip retrieval mission, I went with uh, scoops, but if you're not in the mood for scoops, well, we have original restaurant style also. <laughs> you're so cute. I'll see you. Um, look at this. We've got pulled pork quesadillas, and then homemade two-way jalapeno salsa. And then we've got some of this guacamole and some chippies. Where did you pull the pork from? Ryan. What? <laughs> That's a very valid question. <laughs> We're going to taste test these cookie pop. Popcorn, cookies and cream. What do you think they're going to taste like? Cookies and cream. You think so? And popcorn. What do you think they're going to taste like? Smell. They smell like Oreos. That is a huge bag. Oh my gosh. Mm. So this is the size of the bag. <laughs> and then that is how much popcorn is. <laughs> Talk about way over so it's like, Why do they need such a big bag? Well, it's so it doesn't get squished. Really? That's for packaging. That's why. <sighs> smell it though. What do you think of the smell? It smells like Oreos. It smells good. Let me taste it first. Let's taste it together. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding. Ready? Uh, One, two, three. Tastes like cookies and cream. It's really good. It doesn't even taste like popcorn. It tastes like an Oreo. Not quite an Oreo though. That might be like patent infringement if it tasted too much like an Oreo. Front looks like an Oreo. I mean, yeah. it just doesn't have Oreo stuff on it. It, t it tastes like the Oreo imposters. Only 150 calories per serving. How many are, how many handfuls are one serving? Two and a half cups. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, it's a good snack, huh? Two and a half right. cups, and this is like 150 calories. That's pretty good. That's a good snack. I wonder if they have other flavors. <clears throat> She's dangerous not that bad. Yeah. I like regular popcorn better. <laughs> Hello. Well, this is that awkward silent moment. No, because I'm gonna cut all that out. No, don't cut it out. Why? Yeah, that's boring. Nobody wants to sit and just stare. That's well, at lame. least leave my entrance practices in. Okay? So they must be a new company because they only have it's just cookies and cream, and then more flavors coming soon. So they don't even have other flavors yet. Oh, there's an email. <laughs> it never stops. <laughs> so, yeah. So this is wow. their first flavor then, probably. They're probably just starting out. All right, so what are we doing now? Practicing watching Harry Potter for the Harry Potter next trivia marathon Saturday. that we'll be participating in next Saturday. Geeks Who Drink, Saturday. It's mm -hmm. going down. Yeah. Do you think that they would notice if I wrote notes on my arm? And they might hand? notice. <laughs> if I, what if I put a piece of paper in my shoe? You can't just put a piece of paper. What if you did like gum wrappers? What did you use? Are you smelling them? Yeah, it smells good. Gum wrappers? Yeah. And just like put. You a write piece on of gum the gum paper. wrapper. You write on the inside of the gum wrapper, and then you fold it back over the piece of gum and yeah. you put it into your gum. And so I'd be like sitting there like, oh, I don't like this piece of gum. <laughs> no. Oh, I don't like this one either. <laughs> oh, this is the one I want. That's the one I want. <laughs> uh, 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 oh, you like write a bunch of answers on one piece? Yeah, real small. You have small you know handwriting. What, how will you know what answer you need? Maybe it'll just <gasps> be like notes. You know what we should get? 
Do they sell those spy earbud things and then we can have somebody off site? Yeah, we're talking an awful lot about Usually you have to answer I really don't like... want to cheat on the Harry Potter. Yeah, don't cheat. Then we won't be able to win. Well, we're you have to answer anything. it within like <clears throat> a couple seconds because they move seconds. on to the next... 30 seconds. They, have to... they move on to the next question. Which isn't there a trivia night at the Whistling Pig on Wednesday? Yeah. There's a Whistling Pig brewery near our Should we go do trivia house. again? House. Yeah. Ride our bikes? Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to go watch Harry Potter. Good night, Ryan. Going to continue watching some Harry Potter and then let Ryan sleep some. He didn't get a very good night's sleep. So we will see you tomorrow. Bye.